everyone, Christy Arnett here for Car Player TV for another edition of Strategy. Today I'm here with Andy Block. Andy, how's it going? Okay, it'd be nicer if those are my chips, but these are my chips. I'm still doing okay, probably about, uh, oh, actually now a little bit below average. All right, well, I wanted to talk to you about one of the tips that you gave for uh, Full Tilt's tip from the pros, and you talked about semi-bluffing. First of all, for those who don't know, could you explain exactly what semi-bluffing is? Well, you know, from the name, you can realize it has something to do with bluffing. Right. And it's bluffing, but when you get called, you still may end up winning the hand. Um, which means, like, let's say you move all in on the flop of the flush draw. Your opponent calls you, um, you might hit your flush, or maybe even hit a pair that might end up being good. That's what semi-bluffing is. It's half a bluff, but you can still win if you get called. Why is that important to have in your arsenal and be capable of semi-bluffing without a made hand? Well, sometimes uh, there's a lot of reasons that you semi-bluff. Sometimes you might have be a favorite on the flop without actually having a hand against almost any hand. So um, if you wait till the turn and you miss and you miss, now you're a big underdog. So you kind of sometimes just want to get the money in before that. Um, also. It uh, gives you two ways of winning a hand. Every race gives, gives you two ways of winning a hand. When you, the semi-bluffing assumes that you got a lot more outs. Um, so you can win the hand by your opponent folding, or you can win the hand by them calling and you sucking out on them. And even occasionally, sometimes you semi-bluff and your opponent um, has a worse hand than you, and, and you can win too. Now, if you have, uh, let's say, an open edit instead of a flush draw, is it more important to pick your spot in a, in a place where you think that they're more likely to fold because if you have two overs and a flush draw, you don't really mind if they call, right? Right. If you've got two over cards and a flush draw, you're a favorite against a single pair usually. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, you only have a straight draw with no over cards and so you only got eight outs, you might only be a three to one, uh, you might be a three to one underdog. You might only be 25%, maybe even less to win the hand if your opponent flopped a set or if you, even worse, if your opponent flopped a flush draw and all you have is a straight draw. Now you only have six outs and, and, uh, Actually, uh, so then you're three to one. I meant to say you're two to one if you have if you have just a straight draw, and it's completely live. But you could be in bad shape against a flush or a set. Right. It also helps balance your range because if you're only going all in when you have when you flop the nuts, you know now your opponents have to think about a little more. Right. 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 And um, it's it's usually better, not always. Usually better to bluff when you have some chance of winning the pot when your opponent calls you. Because then it's sort of like you're getting a discount on how much you're putting in for the bluff. That's one way to look at it. If, you have, if you're betting, let's say, 100000 into a $100,000 pot, and you, you're going to win the hand 30% of the time when your opponent calls you anyway, it's, uh, it's only really costing you like a third of that. That's what it really is end up going to end up costing you if your opponent does call. So you're really risking a lot less to win the whole pot. So you're much better, uh, effectively, much better pot odds there okay. because uh, and because you have the extra draws. All right. Well, that's definitely all good stuff to think about. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you. Christian Knight with Andy Block for CarPlayer TV.